It's Sunday! On my Sundays I do a lot of cleaning and laundry. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about leaving your animals in a car on a hot summer day while you go into the store. Or you go into the bank. Or you go have dinner. This video is about is that right or is that wrong? My opinion personally you should never leave your animal in the car no matter what not even for 30 seconds it is too hot in that car and that's what this video is about and we're going to do a demonstration on something in the middle of this video but right now you should never leave your car or leave your dog in that car even if you roll down the windows even if you leave the car running the air conditioning going you should never leave that dog in that car no matter what I don't give a damn what excuse anybody comes up with you should never do it because dogs don't sweat like us they don't and believe me that car or your truck get a hot lot a lot hotter than what it is outside even if you think the air is running everything's okay no no excuse none would you leave your baby in there I don't think so you shouldn't leave your dog in there either now this conversation came up this morning because I was talking to a friend of mine Ron okay and he's in a dilemma same dilemma I'm in now the dilemma is well it has to be times he has to take his dog with him because if he leaves her at home she's going to bark and cry the whole time and then the neighbors down below him will get mad and call the landlord and he get in trouble but when he's out doing things it ain't like he can take the dog inside so what the hell does he do well I'm gonna tell you what he can do now at DC dogs that's where my dogs getting trained Kevin is the owner of DC dogs he's the trainer of stormy he told me when your animal your dog has that problem what you got to do to break it you're gonna have to leave the house you start off for five minutes here five minutes there that animal is gonna have to get used to you not being here and it's not gonna be an easy chore it could take a long time well today that's what we're gonna do see I have that problem now Stormy, believe it or not, has never, ever been left by herself here at home. There's always one of us here with her. And I sure in hell ain't going to leave her in the vehicle when I go places. She goes a lot of places with me. Like the other day, we had to go to the bank. This is normal for me. We don't sit in a truck. We get out and walk around until my wife gets out of the bank, or vice versa, until I get out. I will not sit there with the truck idling, even if I'm in the truck with her there. Because it's still too hot, even with that air conditioning on. So today, the experiment I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera on a tripod. I'm going to walk out the house <coughs> with the boys. And I'm going to show you what Stormy does. That's right. And I'm going to do a picture in picture. I'm going to be out here as well, talking to you guys. And inside, you'll see my dog go nuts. I won't bother you with the barking. So only one video will have the sound. That would be the one me talking. But you'll see her going bananas. I guarantee she's going to bark. She ain't going to like it. She's never been left alone yet, and that's got to start now. I'm training Stormy. This is something else i got to train her on. i got her trained. I'm training her on a lot of other stuff, but this one I haven't worked on yet, and it's time for me to do it. Kevin says it's going to take a while. He's the master dog trainer. He knows what he's saying, and it probably will, but it's got to get done. And my friend Ron has to do this to their dog, Misty. That's right. Well, guys, let me get set up inside. Let's get this rolling. And by the way, the thumbnail on this video was made for the video. I only let Stormy in the truck for exactly five seconds. Long enough to run the cam camera and get a thumbnail out of it. Okay, we're out here by the truck as you can see. I can hear her barking inside for right now. I left the, I turned the TV on and it was on golf. So I hope she likes golf. But the whole idea is to see how well she handles this. I'll be able to tell when I watch the video inside. But this is it guys, I gotta train her to do this. Cause one day it's gonna be, I'm gonna have a doctor's appointment 
and nobody's gonna be able to be here to watch her and I sure in hell can't take her to the doctor's office with me as much as I would want to I can't I can hear her barking a little bit from here just a little bit but guys this is the picture in picture I hope I can pull this editing off I haven't done this kind of editing in a while and this is to show you guys if she goes bananas or doesn't go bananas And by the way, uh, what I said before, the thumbnail, I basically went for a ride with Stormy and the truck was already cooled down. And before I got her out, I went ahead and got a thumbnail for it. That only took about maybe at the most five seconds. But I will not leave my animal in that truck. No, I will not leave any animal in a car or truck because it's too hot for them. And yesterday, I learned how hot it can get for them. Yesterday I went on a pretty long walk and I took Storm with me like I usually do. Well, it got to the point that she was starting to get a little too hot and she was shaking. My dog was starting to get a little dehydrated. I felt like a shit heel for that. So, from now on, maybe my walks will be of a cooler daytime. It was cool yesterday, at least I thought to me it was, but not to her. Dogs run hotter than we do, guys, and they don't sweat like we do. So I learned a very valuable lesson on that. But guys... Leave comments. What's your opinion of leaving animals like your dog in a car or a truck? A lot of people do it. They figure I just turn the air conditioner on to be fine. I don't think that's right. I don't think it's that's the way you're supposed to do it. I don't. That's just my personal opinion. But guys, I gotta go finish a lot of work and get the rest of my day going. So thank you for watching. Leave comments. And if you got a pet, how do you do that? When you leave your house, does your dog go bananas? Now, do you leave your house and take your dog with you when you stop at the store? Do you leave your dog inside the truck or in the car? Let me know something. So until next time, come on. Let's get out of here and enjoy your Sunday.